Greetings, everyone. This is Say of the Terror of Death 99, aka the Black Cobra. This is Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. Buckle your seatbelts, everyone. This is gonna. This is the last case of the second game, and this is going to be a long one, everyone. This is definitely gonna take me at least four or five days to finish. This, my friends, is farewell, my turnabout. Now, before we get started, there's a couple things I need to go over. For, first off, we actually have a quick recap of what happened in the third case. We actually found out that Acro was actually the killer of the Circus Ringmaster. We also found out that his intended target was actually the Ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Anyway. Now. One major thing I actually mentioned during last night's live stream. I actually mentioned that in the last case of the, of the second game, and not only is it going to be super long, but if you screw up near the end of the case, you are going to regret it for the entire rest of your life. And trust me, I am not kidding when I say that. Now, I would actually hate to do this, but I will show you what actually happens. This is why I'm making all these saves. Trust me, you are going, you will find out what's going to happen. <clears throat> and yes, this is the Samurai, the Steel Samurai theme. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So I don't like wasting a lot of time. The Nickel Samurai, indeed. Hey, yeah, sure did. I'm getting too old for this. Need I mention that Phoenix Wright is only 24 years old? And no, I'm not kidding either. Ah, greetings, Mr. Powers. Ah, Pearl. Nickel Samurai. Ah, Kids Masterpiece Theater. Interesting fact, everyone. Now, I'm, 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 I'm actually not sure if this actually happened in other countries, but here in the U.S., there was actually there is actually a show called Masterpiece Theater, where they were actually show old school films. It's actually on. I, I'm not sure if it's still on, but. It was on PBS during the 90s and part of the 2000s. Ah. Yep, Nickel Samurai. Technically, he is still young. Hell, I would actually consider myself young. Even. I'm 
136, but... Ah! Oh! Actually, that's not true. I mean, I still watch anime, for God's sake. Princess Warrior of Little Tokyo. What do you mean, Maya? Ah, that's true. It wasn't carrying a super great guitar. There is an interesting show I actually enjoy. It's actually based off of a Korean show called Snowpiercer. Now, one more thing I should mention. If you actually hear my voice crack, I apologize. with a sore throat the last couple days. That's actually what happened last night. It's also why I cut the live stream off short. Gonna make a speech about winning this year's prize? Confessing something? Hmm. Sounds pretty serious. Settle down. Thank you, Mr. Powers. Thank you for inviting us today. This is William Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was the Steel Samurai. It was the first. It was the first case that Maya worked on with me. Some people are like that. Sometimes they might look scary, but they can actually end up being softies. Especially around kids. I happen to know a few people like that myself. Sometimes it's the opposite. They might actually look nice, but can end up being really mean. Can't believe they're gonna be making a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. The Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate, in the city of Neo Old Tokyo. And last year, they started a new, a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seems to be a hit with the kids as well. Actually interested 
If you're familiar with the video game company Koei, they actually made one of my personal favorite game franchises, Samurai Warriors. They're also coming in behind Dynasty Warriors as well. And they're also behind the... They're also the company that made two of my personal favorite game series. Well, two of my favorite video games. Uncharted World of New Horizons and In and the Way of the Ninja. Which, by the way, I'll be doing a let's play of when I get my new computer. Personally, I think you're I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's bad. It's been yeah, it's too bad. It's been awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt Ongar. Super popular right now. Looks like Pearl doesn't know who he is. This year it's gonna be the Nickel Samurai vs. the German Ninja at the box office. A ninja is always carrying around a bright red guitar? How does that even work? With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in his, in his hand, he rises to stardom in ancient, in ancient time. Ninja becomes a star. There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios Jammin Ninja. They've been air at the same time. Nickel Samurai's on guard and the guy who plays Jammin Ninja. Nicholas Tamari speaks French? Oh, you mean Matt Ongard, the actor. I guess even the world of heroes in this isn't a sparkling happy place. Sadly, that's true. Mr. Powers. Hmm. All right. Do a couple quick saves and then we are going to continue. Shall we? All right. 
Wow, what's with this place? Looks like there's someone in the Oz or something. Way in the back, there is a sign for the bathroom. Make sure this is before you... Well, I can before the show starts. Do this. <laughs> ah, the press conference. Let's see what we have here. Do you know what it is, Mr. Powers? Yes. Not for the reason you think, though. Very well. Thank you, Mr. Powers. Let us continue. Hotel Lobby. Here we go. Hmm. Only a really gaudy hotel would have such a large gaudy lobby to match. Using a compact stage, I see. Attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. Oh. Settle down there, Maya. Ask, we're asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please stay where you are. There's a special request from the police. Whoa. Uh-oh. No. Not by yourself there, Mr. Powers. What the? Oh no. I think we know who that is. And no, I didn't press any buttons at all. That was all automatic. If you actually want to read it, I'll be posting that on my YouTube channel, so... Yeah, I think we know who that is. Yeah, it's Wendy Old Bag. Yes, it is indeed, Mr. Powers. Uh, 
Oh my god. Yep, she's back. Oh. Okay, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? If you want to know about the incident she's talking about, watch my live stream of the first game. Quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake. What? What is it, Maya? No, Maya. We're not doing that. I have plenty of motivation there, Maya. Okay, Maya. Ay, ay, ay. Jesus Christ. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up with a huge migraine when I'm done with this live stream. Back to Royola Hall. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. Yes, Pearl. We better go look somewhere else. 
Doesn't look like it happened here. Remember when I said earlier that if you screw up near the end of this case, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life? Well, just watch. Jesus Christ. Lana! <laughs> Greetings, detective. that pearl whoa the chairman ninja She claims to be, anyway. What sort, what sort of news could she be after? So the victim was the German ninja? Rita. Got a huge push and rode the express train to stardom. Even I recognize his face. And on guards for taking the wind out of the sail. And trust me, you do not want to know what is underneath that splotch of hair covering Ongar's eye. 
Yeah. Guess there's no space for powers at all, huh? Poor guy. That means Mr. Ongard has the whole stage to himself, when you say. is a big fan of his. <laughs> Suspicion of murdering Juan Carita. Whoa. Yeesh. Why was Mr. Ongard arrested? It's definitely understandable. Looks like yet another steel samurai hero is in hot water. I know, she made me take this case, I know. Where is Maya, anyway? to be back by now. Alright, heading to the hotel lobby. Looks like Juan Carita has been killed. Looks like he was murdered and a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt Ongar. Nope. They arrested Nickel Samurai in suspicion of murdering the Chairman Ninja. I don't blame you there, Mr. Powers. About a year ago, something like just like this happened, Pearl. What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Looks like a walk looks like a walkie talkie almost. Whoa! A radio transceiver. Uh oh. Oh no. That's not good. It's energetic and active out actor out there right now. Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol. They kept adding fuel to his fight to the fire of his rivalry with one anyway. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram.
Silas Nickel Samurai and the Burning Chairman Ninja. Final tally look around. It's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. Final win over his rival, I guess. Mr. Ongar was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? Nickel Samurai. Supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. He's gonna be in costume, but why? Forget what I said earlier. This is part of what I was talking about. Hello? Right here. Yes, you are. Kidnapping for ransom. What? <laughs> ah! My has been kidnapped. What do you want, you bastard? Stay your damn condition and return Maya now. What? Complete a quill? What the hell have you done to need? Yes. Juan Carrito was killed and the suspect is Matthew Longard. what he wants. Can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? One chance? 
You expect me to get a non a not guilty of one trial day? Everyone, this is what I was talking about. Yeah. I think you get what I'm talking about now. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I think you get what I was talking about earlier. Basically, I'll put it in a nutshell. If you screw up and actually get a guilty verdict and say that Matthew Ongard is guilty, Maya gets killed. Plain and simple. Yeah. I don't think I need to explain it any easier than that. No, Pearl, it is not your fault. If Pearl had gone with Maya, then she would have been kidnapped too. No! No, Mr. Powers. I cannot do that. <laughs> Not so loud, detective. Ransom is complete acquittal from Matt Ongar. I said that Mr. Ongard is innocent. No, I don't believe him. If Ongard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping, though? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Forensic seems having a field day back there. Too much evidence? Is that even possible? On guard being set up.
business transaction. <laughs> This is me, right. If you had gone, you would have been kidnapped too. I should get home somehow. Yesterday evening. Thanks to the Thanks to our friendly detective gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl got any sleep at all last night. Yes, Pearl. 